Ellie learns to be aware. It's morning, and everyone's awake except for Ellie, who needs a shake. His sister is ready for her ride to beep, but Ellie still is fast asleep. He went to a wedding the night before, and now all he wants to do is snore. Then Mommy comes into his room. The clock is ticking. You'd better zoom. Ellie dresses fast so he won't be late, but sees his bus speed by the gate. Oh, what a mess! What should he do? The school's not very far, it's true, but he'll have to walk there all the way. He sure won't be in time today. At the crosswalk, Ellie comes to a stand. He'd like to hold a grown-up's hand. Crossing the street is a dangerous thing, but asking for help is embarrassing. Ellie gets tired of waiting there and wants to get to school. He won't cross the street alone, cause that's against the rule. I'll go by the dirt path, Ellie decides. That's a place where cars don't run. Ellie runs along the path and hops from rock to rock until suddenly he slips and falls and gets a nasty knock. He gets to his class very late as tears run down his cheek. His teacher brings him water and waits till Ellie speaks. Teacher says, I'm sorry for the trouble you had. You're lucky you just got some bumps and nothing really bad. The teacher tells how to cross the street. Before we step into the street, we go to the crosswalk line. Then we stop and look each way. We always take our time. Left, right, left, right. Do you see cars coming near? If you don't, if you do, wait patiently until both, are, both ways are clear. When crossing the street, don't stand there and chat or run or ride a bike across. Don't even think of that. At the crosswalk, keep on going straight, never on a slant, even if you're late. If there's a crossing light, here's the plan. Check the color of the little man. Red means stop, green means go. That's really all you need to know. Help Ellie reach school in the safest way. Yes, that's right. Through the crosswalk. Good night.